On today, we're going to actually talk about God is in control. God is in control of whatever you're going through. I want you to know that today and that his consistent faithfulness is unwavering. He is always faithful. He is always faithful. Even when we're not faithful, God is faithful. You know, God it comes through. He really does. He may not come through like you expect him to, but he will come through. There are times in our life when we think, oh my goodness, I have it all together. I know exactly what I want to do in my life. And I have this plan. And you know what? Those plans just can go straight out the window. Because when God has a plan for you, uh, he has his, his will will be done. And so consistent faithfulness is number one. In challenging times, we acknowledge God. We acknowledge that he is testing and he is proving us to be faithful to him. And so that's number one when we know that God is in control, when we're navigating through life's challenges. Number two is letting go and letting God. And y'all, how difficult can that be? Letting go and letting God. Oh my goodness. That's one of my strongest, strongest uh, <laughs> challenges. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Letting go and letting God. You know, sometimes we'll say, oh, I'm going to just give it over to God. I'm giving it over to God and I'm not going to worry about it anymore. And how many of you guys know you wake up at two o'clock in the morning and you're like, oh, God, oh, Jesus, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? But when God tell us not to worry, be anxious for nothing. He says, be anxious for nothing. He is in control. So that's number two, letting go and letting God. So number one, knowing that God is consistent and in his faithfulness, number two, letting go and letting God. The number three is divine oversight. You know, we have to know that God is in control. The Bible states that God is in control of all things, including every event, person, place, <laughs> anything in the universe. So we have to recognize the truth that when we go through life challenges, when we face them, that God knows and he's in control and he knows the bigger picture. Sometimes we think, oh, it's just, you know, it's just this way or it's just that way. No, God knows the bigger picture because it involves so many different elements of our life, right? You know, we think we're taking care of something on the financial end when God is actually taking care of something on the spouse end. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't know. We don't know. I've given up trying to figure out God a long time ago. I used to think I had it all under control. I'll be like, okay, so this is what he's doing right now. This is what he's doing right now. And guess what? It's not what he was doing. <laughs> it was totally different than what I thought it was. So you know what? We're going to go back over it again. So when God is in control, we recognize that, you know, his faithfulness, he's always faithful to us. And then the next thing is letting go and letting God. And the next thing is, you know, just divine, just oversight, knowing that God is divine. He's watching over us. And that's it. Point blank, period. <laughs> and the last thing is living in God's strength not trying to take it on all on ourselves, but live in God's strength, not our own. We want to really believe that we can do it on our own, but we can't. We can't. We have to live in God's strength. And so guys, today, I just want you to remember when you're going through life challenges, we want to put God first and know that he is in control of everything that we go through. So thank you so much for being with me this morning on this Wednesday morning. And so God bless you. And so we're going to say a prayer and we're going to see you on tomorrow morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God. We thank you for another day. We thank you for being with us on this beautiful Wednesday morning. We thank you for being God over everything and you're in control. And Lord, bless everyone that's watching and everybody who's going to go back to the replay, God. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Guys, have a great day. God bless you.